Alrighty. Well, thank you everybody for joining or following up with us on the recording. My name is Jessica and I am um, an instructor with GDI. I'm also a board member, a longtime member um, in many different capacities. And I'm very excited this summer to be hosting um, a front end cohort for the Summer of Code. And so essentially, I just want to kind of give some high level overview of what you can expect from the program as far as the content. Um, as well as what we will be expecting from you if you're interested in um, participating. And so um, briefly, I'll go ahead and talk through um, what kind of project are we going to work on? What are some of the things you can expect from the week to week, as well as um, some time commitment and some other details? Uh, so just to give you a quick high level overview, um, the thought process for this program is that we offer a lot of um, hands-on workshops, a lot of educational material, um, and we think that that's great in supporting uh, those members of our community that are interested in learning how to code. And now what we really want to do is support you all taking this to the next level. And so essentially what that means for us is um, in addition to those traditional educational workshops that we provide, we want to provide a project-based learning cohort where you can essentially maybe build and launch what might be your very first portfolio project. And so um, really this summer, that's what our cohort is going to focus on, right? We're going to do um, six weeks of dedicated, focused, project-based learning, um, group-based learning, where we will start out with our spec um, and getting all of our tech set up and getting our dev environments ready to go. And we will end with demoing our portfolio project that we have built as a part of our groups. So that's where we're going to start versus where we're going to end and um, how we're planning to get there. Um, so as I said, there's going to be six weeks of this program. In week one, it's really going to be focused more on the introduction to the program. So getting into your groups, figuring out which project it is that you um, are planning on doing, what are all the project specs that you need to meet, um, making sure that we have dev environment set up and all of your tech is ready to go, um, and really just giving you an introduction to some lightweight um, program management, which will be more of the agile style program management, which is very com common um, in the tech space. And so that's kind of what week one is going to focus around, making sure everything is set up, making sure you're ready to go, and um, essentially starting the planning process um, getting your, your uh, solid base. Week two is really focused around the project scaffolding, right? So this is what are the, um, like the bare minimum as far as starting to get the code in place. Um, and this will also allow us to spend some time on some supplemental lessons on version control, Git and GitHub. So when you're working as a part of a group, it's very common that all of our group members, all of our team members are working on the same code base at the same time. And so we want to make sure that you have that real life experience. And so we'll also be making sure that we have hands on experience with using Git and GitHub. And so a lot of that will be um, provided in supplemental lessons as part of week two as well. Um, week three is really mostly centered around the layout and the styling, right? So um, what are the design guides that you're looking for? How are you um, starting out with your basic design um, and starting to implement your design details? Um, and then between week three and week four, we would then move into responsive layouts as well. So um, what does that look like? Well, you want to have at least one design that looks great on a desktop view, and you want to have at least one layout that looks great on a mobile view. Um, and those are two of the basic requirements that we're going to want to have as far as our layouts. Um, and again, some of the supplemental material that you can expect as a part of that process will be covering um, some of the tooling that we have in CSS, including something such as Flexbox or CSS Grid. Um, and depending on the level of the students as well, we may even cover um, a CSS framework. So, so those are some of the core materials as far as styling and layout and design. 
And then really week five and week six are transitioning into how do we deploy our site? How do we keep, um, have um, our code or our website go live to the internet? Um, how are we gonna manage that? Um, so we'll be doing, in addition to continuing to build out and finalize our projects, you will be doing deployments um, and providing some supplemental lessons around deployments as well. And then in week six, wrapping up, not just finishing off and polishing off our project, but um, how do we present our features and the things that we have created and demo that to an audience. So we'll be able to demo the projects that we've created within our group. And potentially even within the larger GDI community as well. So those are some of the high levels as far as the content. Again, this is a project-based cohort. So even though there will be supplementary lessons, most of the time inside of um, each of those individual evening sessions is actually going to be centered around key <laughs> fingers on the keyboard, working with your groups, and really the supplemental lessons are there just to make sure that um, any of these skills that you may not have learned up until now, you're able to start to put those into practice. So um, I'll quickly switch over to talk about high level, um, what you can expect from us and what we would expect from you. So um, specifically what you can expect from us, you will have a full time um, dedicated, I should say, a dedicated instructor and a dedicated teaching assistant. So um, I will be leading this cohort as the instructor. And we also have an awesome GDI member coming on board who has been through the learning process um, and probably has a very similar background as you as far as um, journeying into tech and both of us will be there to support you throughout this entire process. So um, again, as far as what we will be doing, we will be providing supplemental lessons, we will be providing tech support, we will be providing additional support on the project management side, um, making sure that you're staying within your scope um, and supporting you as you work through this process, especially for the moral support, because I think that's one of the biggest things um, that we love to provide in our community is making sure that people feel comfortable and um, in a safe space to make mistakes and learn and try new things and kind of level up all together as a group. Um, some of the things that we expect from you. So we are mostly expecting that the time that you need to dedicate towards the program are the in person or in class sessions. So um, everything will be virtual, but we do have dedicated times where our cohort will be meeting. And so to the best of your ability, we are expecting full attendance for those and trying to make maintain the fact that if everyone's there within the time frame that we have set aside, you'll have minimal requirements to do extra work outside of that. So you're able to balance being in a cohort with life, family, work, things of that nature. Um, we're definitely wanting you to, you know, commit and follow through on this. So um, we're putting all the structure in place and it's really to set you up for success. So um, I feel like as long as our cohort is ready to put in the work, we're here to help you and make sure you um, get to the end and that you feel confident um, and happy with the project that you end up with. We want you to ask questions. We want you to, you know, really share and um, express how you're going through the learning journey so that we can best support you. Um, and that definitely includes as well communicating issues, whether they're personal or interpersonal. Um, just as a small aside, you know, I have a lot of experience in teaching coding boot camps, teaching beginners, um, and getting folks into the tech space. So I understand that things happen. I understand that, you know, it can be difficult to go through that first you know, true learning journey. So for me, I really want to be as supportive as possible. And the best way that we can support you is for you to kind of be open with us, um, whether it's within the group or whether it's on the side channel. Um, so those are some of the things that I really wanted to cover as far as what we're planning. Um, I'm very excited for this cohort um, and I'm happy to uh, talk through any questions and answer any um, any questions we might have, but for those that were not able to join or if you're just uh, watching the recording, uh, feel free to reach out to us 
and um, we can answer some of those questions as well. But I think that kind of wraps up the high level overview.